Hi, welcome to More Flavor, Less Fire TV. I'm Steve from Stevie Max Gourmet Sauces. And I'm Chef Greg. Today we're going to be doing Stevie Max Grouper Mango with Stevie Max Hot Mango Sauce. You ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, we're back. We're going to show you how to make Stevie Max Grouper Mango today. We're going to start with four nice pieces of fresh gag grouper that we just happened to have caught yesterday. But you can use any white fish, any flaky white fish, nice big thick pieces if you can get them. Uh, we're going to be using about two tablespoons of diced onion, does not to be too fine, about two tablespoons of chopped garlic, about a cup and a half of carrots, three or four tablespoons of chopped thyme, three or four tablespoons of chopped oregano, we're going to be using a 10 ounce can of diced red tomatoes with chilies and about a quarter cup of a concentrated lime juice. Uh, we're also going to be using Stevie Max hot mango sauce. So all we're going to do, we're going to get a little olive oil on the fillets, just a little bit, rub it around, whoops, rub it around, other sides, just like that. Then we're going to be adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, flip them around, and a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now I've got a pan with some hot extra virgin olive oil, and what we're going to do just going to put the uh, onions in here like so and the garlic like so we're going to get that just so it starts to brown just a little bit okay doesn't take too long if you got a nice hot pan and you got hot oil and get that all around there like that. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take these fillets and we're going to press them down into the onions and garlic. Just press them right down in there. Nice. Smell that garlic and onion starting to cook. Just like that and press them down so you really push that meat down into the onions and the garlic. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add the thyme. We're going to add the oregano. And we're going to add the quarter cup of lime juice like that. Now, I'm going to put a lid on it and we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes at a medium heat. Okay, well it's been 10 minutes, so what we're going to do is, and you can see these things are cooking nicely, we're going to turn them over, just like so, and you'll see how the garlic and the onion are pressed into the meat. Go just like that, get that one turned over, one more like that, We've got a nice medium heat going here. Now we're going to add the carrots. Just sprinkle them around in between the fillets so they're in contact with the pan a little bit. Now we're going to add the 10 ounces of diced tomatoes and chilies out of a can and we're just going to sprinkle that all around in there like so. And last but not least we're going to add a little bit of Stevie Max hot mango sauce. Um, you can put a little on if you like it a little spicy or as much as you want. It's going to add a nice mango flavor to the dish. We're going to put a lid back on it and we're going to let this go for 10 more minutes. Okay, we're back and Stevie Max grouper mango is done. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? 
and uh, what we're going to do is we've got we've already plated up some brown rice that we've infused with the Stevie Max mango sauce. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a nice piece of grouper, or like I said, any other firm white fish. Let's put it there on the plate. Then you're going to want to spoon up some carrots and a little bit more of the tomato and just put it around there like that. And then what I like to do is take a little bit more of this mango sauce. This is a mild mango habanero sauce and just put a little over the grouper and a little over the rice. And there you have it, Stevie Max grouper mango. Thanks so much for joining us on More Flavor Less Fire TV. We'll see you next time.